Hi, in this video I'd like to share with you a document that is called Helpful Hints for Milestone Number 1. So specific ideas of what you should do to make this milestone work successfully. First of all, the goal of the milestone is to create a comprehensive design for your application. So it's going to illustrate all of the data and the actions that will be done in your Contacts app. So I recommend um, a drawing tool. So draw.io is popular among the students and it will E easily create um, a UML diagram for you. So here's what I would start with. I would create a single item for each class that is listed in the requirements. And so don't initially worry about where you put them on the canvas. We just want to make sure that we get them on the drawing board so that we don't forget about them. And then don't worry about linking them together or putting in properties or methods. And so your screen might start off looking like this here where we have uh, just a bunch of classes that are scattered about on your drawing. Once you have them on the screen, then you have basically a checklist to work with and so you won't forget them later. Then we can go in and fill in the details. So start with the properties and then finally the methods. What do the links look like? Well, that's going to take some requirements and thinking to see who's related to who. Here's one, here's one example of what you would probably link on the document. We know that we have this class called base class or base contact and it will create a bunch of methods and it will have a bunch of properties but then the business and the person contact are extending it so we would know that those are inheriting from a base contact. For the second part of the design we're going to create wireframes and then an interactive model of our app and so I'm recommending here to use Marvel which is an application available on the iOS store as well as the Android App Store. And so I've installed it as you can see. It is simple as taking photos of items that you've already drawn. So now you can see here in front of me I have some templates that are looking like a, a, a mobile phone. And then using a pencil and paper I drew what I thought my app would look like. And so multiple pages of these and we have ourselves a photo ready application to create. So I'm going to leave the tutorials for Marvel to show you. They have a desktop version and they have a mobile version. So I use completely mobile. So the tool works pretty simply. You simply draw something on a, screen, on a piece of paper like this, use your app, create a new template, click the uh, green plus sign here and it will create a option to say do you want to get your photo from a camera or from your for from your uh, canvas I'm just going to choose camera and so you can see that it's it's looking for me to take a picture want to get a project up and running quickly with Marvel here's how to turn your designs into interactive prototypes that you can share with anyone no coding required so to start click the create project button then choose a device Now we need to add some screens. No designs handy? You can create them inside Marvel by clicking Design. For this demo though, we'll continue going with the drag and drop method. Simply drag and drop your designs from your desktop. Now hover over a screen and click View. We're now in the Editor view. This is where we can make your designs come to life by linking them together. Drag over the image to make a hotspot. Now choose a hotspot destination from the selector pop-up. Finish the interaction by choosing a transition. This will help make your screen move. OK, now just repeat these steps for the rest of your screens. When finished, head back to the project by clicking Done and hit Play to see what you've created. This is where we can test the hotspots on our screens. Click the blue hotspots to see the prototype move. Looking good. Now let's share it. Return to Project View in the other tab. Go to Share, click Email and SMS. Then simply enter your contact details. And over on the recipient screen, they will receive a link. And they can play back your creation. So there you have it. A living, breathing prototype in no time. Made to look and feel like the real thing. Give it a go yourself. Become a Marvel user today. So recall then that the uh, first milestone has some deliverables that we're looking for. 
One is uh, UML diagrams. Second is uh, pictures of your application flow, your site design. And then the third is the wireframes that are actually going to show up in your Android Studio version of your application. So there's some help, helpful hints for milestone number one.